All right, uh, let's look at the homework 10, uh, problem number one. All right, so we want to construct the matrix corresponding to a rotation of 30 degrees and about the y-axis together with the reflection through the uh, xc plane. All right, so let's do that. All right, first, uh, we're going to start with the identity matrix. So we're going to have, uh, say, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1. Right? So this is the identity matrix. All right? Since uh, this is a rotation about the y-axis, so uh, uh, nothing happens to the uh, y-coordinate. So which means that we're going to leave the uh, second row and the second column alone. All right? So I'm not going to change those guys. But uh, then we have to do a rotation about uh, um, uh, y-axis. So what we can do is uh, we can just put the rotation matrix. All right, so I'm going to erase those. All right, remember that rotation matrix goes a cosine of 30 degrees and a negative sine of 30 degrees and a sine of 30 degrees and a cosine of 30 degrees, all right? So it goes something like that. But uh, when you do a rotation about the y-axis, you have to be a little bit careful because uh, if you look at the uh, x-axis this way and the y-axis this way, all right? So here's the z-axis. So if you apply this regular um, you know, rotation matrix, it actually rotates uh, from x positive di direction toward the um, uh, z uh, positive z direction, which means that it's actually a, a clockwise uh, in, uh, with respect to the y-axis. We want the counterclockwise rotation. So what you need to do is you need to actually put the negative sign uh, here instead, right? That, that will change it, all right? So this is the rotation matrix um, by 30 degrees, you know, counterclockwise. Then if you want to do a, a reflection about the xz plane, remember that again, we're going to start with 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, all right? And uh, we're not going to, so since uh, it's uh, a reflection is about the uh, xz plane, so uh, we, all, only thing that changes the uh, y coordinate. So y coordinate is going to be negated. So which means that the uh, second row and second column element, instead of ne a positive one, we put the negative one there. All right? Then to find a matrix which does both at the same time, all you have to do is multiply these two matrices together. So the, the answer is going to be product of these uh, two matrices. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this will get your guys going.